But before we get into Haggai, here's a very quick intro. The Book of Haggai is effectively a diary written over four months and contains the prophetic words that God spoke through Haggai. Now we don't know much about Haggai himself, except that he's simply called the prophet. Because he dates his writing, we know he's writing around 520 BC, but to properly understand his words, we've got to go back just over two centuries to 722 BC. Just as the prophets back then had been warning the people for decades, the covenant, the agreement that God has made with Israel was broken and forgotten. And because of the people's broken promises, the promised land was no longer theirs. The king of Assyria wages war against the northern kingdom, which fell in 722 BC, and the people of the northern kingdom are carried off into exile and scattered as powerless slaves right across the Assyrian Empire. The southern kingdom, Judah, being more faithful to their promises to God, keep the covenant and are spared this horror for now. However, over time things change. Judah too slips further and further away from God. Another global power, Babylon, has swept over the world and taken over the Assyrian Empire. They attack Judah, which falls in 587 BC. The temple, the symbol of God's presence among the people, is burned to the ground and stands destroyed. And the people of Judah are also carried off into exile, where they also now live as slaves for the next 49 years. It looks to all the world, like so many other peoples before them, that Israel is gone. It's the darkest moment in their history to date. But God has not forgotten his people and he has a plan. Just as the prophets had promised, there's another power now on the global stage, Persia. Persia conquers the Babylonian Empire and in 538 BC its king Cyrus issues an edict allowing the Jewish people to return home and over the course of the next two years the exiles are finally returning home to Israel. Fast forward to 520 BC. It's been 16 years since the people have come home. King Darius now rules over Persia and God begins to speak again. The Lord has a message for the people through the prophet Haggai.